What's up everyone, it's Josh Reese, and I recently finished my second year of optometry school. Now, it's time has flown by. I barely have time to make videos anymore because I started clinic in my third year, but I wanted to take time and talk to you about the second year of optometry school and how you can make it through. Now, to start off, the second year of optometry school is generally the hardest year. It is where most of your content that is going to be on your board examinations will come from. Now you'll have anywhere from neuro classes to contact lens classes and everything in between, and you're gonna have to juggle it all and just kind of become a master of the content. Now my first tip is that you have to become a master of the content. I remember in my first year of optometry school and in undergrad for the large part as well, I didn't have to know all the material if that makes sense. Like I could know 80% of it and get like a 90 on the exam, right? I didn't know I have to know every single thing and I could still do well. I just had to know general topics, be able to piece it all together with logic. And you know, I paid attention in class, right? So I should do well. But in optometry school, especially during your second year, you're going to need to be a master of the topic. One thing I love to say is you're in optometry school to become a doctor you're gonna to need to know these things on a doctor level. Becoming a master of it means that if you know 80% of the material, you're not gonna get a 90 on the exam, you're probably gonna get more like a 60 because most of the exam questions will come from the upper tier of knowledge. It'll come from knowing the material 90, 95, 100% of the way through. Even if you know 100% of the exam material, if you're not a master of it, if you're not able to think on your feet with it, you could still get some questions wrong. And that's what was hard in the second year of optometry school for me. There's generally less content, but you need to be a master of it. Now, the second piece of advice I'd have for second year students is to fail early. And that is kind of a weird way to put it, but what I mean is you need to know that you don't know something as soon as you can. I had a class this last quarter that was just a midterm and a final. And I didn't know I didn't know the information until the midterm. I failed the midterm, which is going to happen a lot more than you think in optometry school. And at, it was at that failed midterm that I realized that I didn't know it to the level that I needed to know it. And so what I my advice for failing early is don't wait until the midterms or the, the exams to fail. One way to fail early is to go to office hours. Now going to the office hours of the professors, you might feel dumb, but that's precisely why you're going. It's much better to go now and feel dumb and fail in their office hours during the first week of classes. So that way you can know that you don't know the information and you can use your energy of all of these classes to prepare for more specifically in that area of that class and so going to office hours is a great way to fail early another great way to fail early is to study in groups now i wasn't a huge group studier in my second year of optometry school just because there's so much going on it's hard to that's hard to get into groups but if you are able to get into groups you're able to quiz each other and fail early and that will piece together a lot of the knowledge that you need for these exams. Fail early so that way your grade's not impacted and there's less stress going into finals week. Advice number three that I'll give to second year optometry students is actually something I tell all pre-optometry students and it's something that I was taught before. And that is if you go over the material three different times, you won't fail. Now that same class that I took that I was telling you about uh, this last quarter where I failed the midterm, I thought that I knew it. I really did. But I was cheating myself because I only went through the information one good time before the midterm. Well, I went to class and then one good time. And a lot of the information that I missed, almost all of it, was hidden deeper in that second time. If I would have had the time and energy to go over it one more time, almost every single gap that I miss would have been filled in and I would have gotten closer to 100% on that exam. There were so many questions where I was this close to understanding. 
And I thought that I did well on that exam. But it is because second year optometry school, you need to be a master of the content. And so you can know a little about a lot of things and think you know a lot, but you really need to know each part of information to its fullness. And you, your best shot of doing that is to go over all of the information on an exam three different times before you walk in. And that secures your best chance of passing every single exam. Now, piece of advice number four, it's gonna be dumb, it's gonna be cheesy, but have fun. Optometry school is a roller coaster, right? Ups and downs, and you're hating some classes, you're loving others, but ultimately this becoming process that you're going through is to become a doctor. And that's something that's not easy, but it's, it's cool to feel yourself grow. Because growth is really what this life is about, going through something so uncomfortable that you come out the other side a completely new and improved person. And you need to enjoy it. You really need to enjoy some of the funny, awkward, hard moments during your second year. It's some of the best time to get involved in clubs, to go to events, to network, to really get start doing doctor things. And all of these things are going to be available to you in your second year. So as hard as it is, there's still fun to be had. So advice number four, enjoy your time in second year of optometry school. It'll be hard to make it through, but I know you can do it. You might need to put your head down, work at it a little bit more time than you are, but you will get through this. And I know that you'll be a great doctor one day. Thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you're struggling in optometry school, don't think that you're alone. Reach out to me, I'm here. I know what you're going through more than you think. And I know the whole optometry community is here for you. So don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.